The West Side Market. That's right. It has nothing to do with what you can buy at the market. Vic Gideon is here with what you need to know the next time you show up so you're not caught off guard. It's business as usual at the West Side Market, but the way you park your car is anything but. When folks get to the market, they just pull right in. There's no gates. It's definitely more welcoming and everything. The old gates and system gone. A camera reads license plates in and out of the lot, depending on how long you shop, affects how much you pay. But on day one of the new system, mixed reviews with a bit of a learning curve. This is a very inconvenient, like, I don't even know my license plates by heart, so I gotta go back to my car. Not too bad, I didn't even have to pay for it. It's great. Yeah, we love it. So how much does it cost? The first hour is free, and it's $1.50 for each hour after that. And you'll receive a notice on your phone when your paid parking time is about to expire, so you can increase your time if you'd like. You can add more time. The system also solves backups during busy times. A really big piece of this is also the traffic congestion because the gates caused a lot of traffic congestion on Lorraine. Signs like these all over the West Side Market explaining how to pay with either the QR code, a phone call, or a text message. They can scan the QR code with their phone. If they don't have a smartphone, they can text and they can select the amount of time that they're planning to stay in the lot. And if shoppers ignore a warning and they exceed their parking time, you don't re up or pay more or you decide not to pay at all, there is a ticket that gets sent to your home. Is it going to be better? I think so. And I think it was much better, you know, just get your ticket. Vic Gideon, 19 News.